everybody, I'm Sophie D'Souza and welcome to my channel Sophie Stained Glass. In today's video um, you're going to see how Chloe, my student for the last two days, although when I say two days, two half days, how Chloe has made this fantastic piece. Um, and the reason we split the studying over two days was because she did some painted work and that takes about four hours in my kiln. So she came one day, cut, painted, next day um, she leaded. So um, yeah, uh, keep watching for how to make a beautiful piece of stained glass. If you rub tallow onto all, every place where the leads meet and have to be soldered. You're heating the metal and the solder flows onto the hot surface. Um, lead has quite a low melting point, so if you keep your soldering iron on for too long, you're just going to melt your lead. So, the very first time you use your soldering iron, it will be hotter than it is while you're working, so you have to be particularly careful. So, that's all you need to do. Um, now, if you just watch carefully the angle of my tip, it's not completely flat and it's not like that and you're not painting with it. You're slightly taking a bit of the solder and as soon as your, you, your metal is hot enough, it will flow onto it. Now, there's a hole. And the way I approach holes is I let it go cold, so I'll normally do some other um, joint um, less is more with solder you don't want too much um, then I go back to the one with the hole and I put a bit more on so I'm going to do this one which hasn't got any tallow on it because this is more of a challenge because it's going to drop through I'm going to come back to that and add more when it's gone cold. Do you want to have a go? So place the solder just next to the joint so that a bit of your tip touches. That's it, yeah. Don't be, you have to get that pause right. If you take your soldering iron off too quickly, you'll get a peak. That, that's got a little peak there which means you took your soldering iron away a fraction too soon because of course, like I said, if you keep it on too long, you'll melt the lead. Mm. So keep going and see if you can begin to judge. Um, and that's also why you've got that there. Yeah. Um, how long to leave it on. That will just melt away, don't worry about that. Try and, so what I've noticed is maybe because you're looking, you've got, I'm exaggerating, but you've got it tilted, you need it proper flat. I'm just going to try and cover that hole, there we go. Look, it's not shreddy, so it's really weird. <laughs> I can smell shreddies. <laughs> Lead shreddies. It must be. Ah, oh, we forgot that bit and that bit. Remember? Oh, yeah. Do you want to try and bridge those gaps? Yeah. Because we should, right? Oh, we should, yeah. And this one was missed and this one was missed. So one, two, three, four. One, two. And then the circles. Oh. 
it is tricky, it is quite like extra level this sort of thing. No, not the tip, that won't work. So let me show you on one and you try the other. So what I'd suggest you do is keep your soldering iron completely flat so that that piece of uh, lead and that piece are both heated up and your solder will run along to both surfaces. You want to try that? So you want you want your soldering iron, not your solder, in the direction. So if I was, no, you're not left-handed. Don't do it like that. This is what you want to be doing. Yeah, okay. that sort of direction. And then if you just touch the lead to it, hopefully it will run along it like it did with me. So like that. Mm. So put. Uh, let me just see how I do it. It's hard for me to remember sometimes. So they come together at the same at the same point as the tip is lying horizontally on these two pieces of lead. At the same point, you bring the the solder down with it. Because as you know, if you keep the soldering iron on it for too long. Yay! Good job. <sighs> yeah, it's a good one. So that's fine. About the bumpy bits, can we well, go over? Well, we can. Um, what you have to be careful about is is obviously not. Um, Not uh, you. The other the other approach to bumpy bits is to use a file. Yeah, and you can always do that. Um, a lot of these little holes will be able to be filled by the cement. You know, you don't need to worry too much about them because sometimes you you you, you keep doing it and you're not really making it any better. Like, I don't think that's flowing there because there's a lack of flux. Once you put the flux on, you find it flows. Or it doesn't. Maybe this needs cleaning. That's not really flowing. I don't know whether I need to... No, I don't think that looks too bad, but... Okay. This doesn't look bad. Just... Which one? This one? Don't oh, that one. This one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that looks better. I wouldn't be too worried about it. The soldering is fine. Is it meant to come through? No, you do it on the other side as well. Right, right. I mean, sometimes it comes through, yeah. It will drip through sometimes. So we now are going to make our cement, which involves whiting, plaster, black pigment, three to one whiting to plaster. So it's very small this, so um, it's chalk dust, it's just chalk dust, it's going to be more than enough. So if that's that we just need a bit of that so the um, plaster firms it up 
So you don't want it to set completely because it needs to expand and contract. And then you put in a bit of this, a bit of black. Don't need much because we're not making much. I might need more black than this. Now we need a plop of linseed oil and a plop of uh, white spirit. Just God, it's an awful bottle. So you want about the same amount of white spirit to linseed oil, boiled linseed oil. Boiled. Boiled. What, um, does that mean it's refined? Or? Yeah, I guess they they sell it boiled. I don't know if you can actually buy raw linseed oil, I don't know. There you go. So whack a spoon of it on top and... And what you're hoping to achieve by scrubbing it is you're hoping to push the cement between the lead and the glass. So making it work waterproof. That's it. That's all right, scrub now. That smells really good. <laughs> if only this was smell vision Sprinkle a bit of this on and smear it about. That will absorb the extra moisture. That's enough. Now turn over your panel and do the same on the other side. No, oh, this feels nice. You think that until you find that one bit of solder that's sticking up that rips your hand open. <laughs> yeah, it's all, everything's so tactile about this craft. I have tried, yeah, keep going, I have tried using gloves, which is generally recommended. Really? Yeah, but I can't, I for, can't get on with it. For what reason? Because lead is poisonous and it can enter your body if there's lesions in your skin, which, if you're making... Yeah, but the s small amounts is probably fine. Yeah, I mean, it's not if you're pregnant, I have to say. But, um, and ultimately lead poisoning will kill you, but you would have to eat a lot of it. <laughs> um, so, uh, I've tried during the leading process, which is obviously when you're in contact with the most lead, to use gloves, and I just endlessly yeah. nail them to the surface. Because I'm, I'm like this. <laughs> so I think I don't quite have the coordination for gloves. Mm. Well, maybe my what fingers kind are of too gloves short. are you wearing? Like? I've tried those kind of white ones that they wear in, I don't know, I always imagine beauticians. Latex. Hmm? Latex gloves. No, I've used latex and they just rip all over the place. And then I've used those gloves that are like white, like Michael Jackson gloves, you know. But what are like leather gloves? They are. Um, yeah, I've got a big thing of gloves. So you get these sorts of things. Oh. Right. I think on eBay they actually called them magicians' gloves.
if you want to, and you don't have to do this, mm. I can give you a pointy stick. Mm. Do you want a pointy stick? Or are you happy with that finish? Um, I don't think it needs to no. not. No, that's fine. Sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. Now, the only thing you have to be a little bit careful of is that because this is small, you don't want it to send it flying. Um, but you just... <laughs> Cool. Can I hold it out to the light? Yeah. Oh, wow. That is so nice. And here it is, the finished piece, which I think Chloe can be very proud of. I really love the strong colours and I love the symmetry and the asymmetry um, and the detail. So I like the scale she's chosen um, and it's very unique. Um, so I think it's a really successful piece and she's super talented which you all find a bit annoying don't we um, but anyway thank you for watching good job thank good, you. good good job and um, yeah please like comment and subscribe <laughs>